Now, take two of the diary entry, 8th of October 2015. Just as I was about to read, or, well, you know, whatever, and my browser literally disappeared, I crashed. It's been doing this for quite a while now. I can't really for the life of me understand why. It's possibly to be the system is out of date, but the fact that the Chrome browser actually updates automatically, I can't understand why it still crashes. I even disabled every single extension, which I have quite a lot, but still, I disabled all of them. And some are, some I actually removed completely because they weren't useful or whatever, or some of them actually were against Google's policy relating to. Uh, the policy of the Chrome Web Store, but still it crashes. So it could be the fact that I clean up cookies and all the crap that goes underneath under the hood, as they say. So before the browser crashes again, I'll continue my um, takeout or <laughs> takeout and wish my entry, sir. So as I say, this is a diary entry for yesterday, the Thursday of the 8th of October. As I said previously, um, nothing much was done yesterday considering I was just literally at home on my sorry ass. <coughs> yeah, right. Looking at TV mainly it was, and of course the computing itself, and Facebooking, etc, etc. So to elaborate on that, I've been having quite an interesting few dreams. One in particular though, and what's been going on is if I recall right the exact details, is I consider this dream more card. Yesterday, Thursday, mightn't be as bright as to say on my mind. But anyway, I see someone on a murdering spree, or perhaps someone close to mine has been murdered. Then I realized then that someone I knew did the exact same thing. Now, what I'm trying to say here is, maybe I could be the one doing the murdery, but then, what I think is going on in my mind, what I think is going on is actually the word, or the future time. I spoke to my sister relating to this matter previously. What she thinks it's to do with is whereby I'm able to foresee something. So for example, I do something, whatever it is, like whatever, you know. But then that actually happens again in my mind. So for example, I'm talking to you right now on the I know the date is a bit off, but anyway, whatever. On Friday, the October the tenth, the other way around, October. I'm really American time now. October the ninth, sorry. Right now, but subconsciously, I actually don't realize that I'm doing it. So then, when I go to do that particular action, I'll be saying to myself, "Oh, I actually did this already." So if you can try and find out what, or if you can try and understand. What I'm trying to get at. I'm doing something, whatever that something is, could be TV, going out with folks, going with my sis, whatever, it doesn't matter. Could be anything. Nothing in particular. Even Plato could be doing anything himself. <coughs> if you can see me in the picture, yep, he's almost there. And well, whatever my point is, would I'm doing something or someone around me is doing something or whatever, right? And then when that something happens on that particular moment of time. I actually realized, well, hey, you did that already. So it could even be as weird to say, for example, now, if I have saved, for example, here's an example, okay? I buy, say, oh, Frankie, it's inflatable, just for I can say, which I don't know what he is, but you'll be seeing him very soon come Halloween, right? So obviously, I never had Frankie, the inflatable, say, last year, let alone last week. Because I actually only bought him the last, last week in himself, like that, I think. So, let's say, I never had Frankie the Inflatable last month, right? So, I'm in the shop, in Lights, I think I bought it, or I'll, I think Lights, and I go to Chill and pay for it, okay, 20 euros it was. Okay, I go home to my whatever it was I was at. So, then, when I'm doing that particular moment in time in the shop, right? I then realized to myself, well, hey, you've done this already, George. So the, if you, you can, the more I think about it, the more I'm actually saying it to my to my viewers here, the more it kind of is making sense to me. 
It's like what I think is going on is that when I'm buying the inflatable in Lytle, I'm actually foretelling the future. You know, only one person in the whole globe can actually tell the future. And that's the man above, or as I've heard some people saying, the man upstairs, i.e., God. Now, if you're an atheist, well, then that's the important that you're on business. I'm not going to do any that argument. But my point being is, no one can tell the future. And yet, when I'm in doing something in, like, say, as I say, the inflatable, buying the inflatable, I would be saying, God, I actually got this yoke already, even though lions never sold this yoke ever in their lives, because it's brand new for them. Well, <coughs> in Ireland anyway, whether they sold in other countries in the world, in their own native Germany, I don't know. But I've got line is, like even now, God, oh, so I thought the crop was just going to go again. Anyway, so even now I'm doing a, a diary entry via you, or which will be on YouTube eventually anyway. And I bet you now in the next few minutes, something will tell me, George, you've actually published this di our diary entry already. Even though technically I can't now, because today I'm doing the diary entry for the October the 8th. So, do you get what I mean? Anyway, like I say, no one can tell the future except the man upstairs. Well, literally, not upstairs, because there's a guy above me who lives above me. If you want to call that upstairs. But anyway, bottom line is, in my opinion, what I think, it's been happening a few times now. I could be doing something, and I say to myself, God, you jumped in some already, or I realized, wow, that's amazing. So, so if I can think of anything, but that's what I was trying to do in my dream. That someone, or I, maybe myself, <coughs> I wouldn't hurt a fly if you asked me, or if anyone, asked, if you, anyone who knows me, I wouldn't even hurt a fly, no matter when I should be defending someone, and it be it in physical or verbal, verbal, at times I would, I would defend the person depending on the situation at hand, but when it comes to physical, not my kind of scene, no matter how bad or ridiculous the situation is. But anyway, moving on. Basically, like I said previously, I've been looking at TV the whole day and while watching again, continuing the whole day and watching the, my brother, like I as explained already, which, you see, there's, there's another, jeez. <laughs> but anyway. Very weird, actually, if you ask me. Like, that's what I just said in about the future yo. I didn't really actually, and I didn't even look at the browser. I'm looking at the browser with the diary entry in question. While watching my browser, I hear Chrome crash. Now, if you recall a few minutes ago, I actually said that very term because my Chrome itself crashed there and then. So, like, it's a weird, but anyway, it crashed a few times yesterday. <coughs> Nothing new. So then, when my aunt came down to leave down some, what was, what do you call it, uh, food? Jeez, I forgot about her actually. Now, I immediately forgot a quick thought. Now, see, I was in bed and what I was going to get out of bed to answer the door, right? She did ring the door quite harsh, but <coughs> whatever. So then, when she left, <coughs> I made sure she was gone before I, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, before I got anything out, you know, before I went outside. My nudie. But anyway, um, I, when she left, I got my stuff, which is what she gave me. And um, she then, um, when I when I came back inside, I got a quick talk, whereby my aunt, whereby I'm flooded, and my aunt comes down, and I think if I recall rightly, she, when she swept, that's what it was. she comes down the thing this then and she swept into the flood. That's what it is. Uh, that makes sense. Better sense. And she falls into the flood, or she swept into the flood, and of course, which quickly I save her by get her jumping out. I think I'm naked or whatever, <coughs> doesn't matter, whatever. And then I just throw her out, or somehow hike her up into safety zone in terms of um, where she can breathe or whatever, you know. Not in the water, that's what I'm trying to say. And then a headline appears in my out of my mind gay man saves none, because she's a sister in the solution none, so you know. And also with the Catholic Church and against gays and all that, yada yada yada. So that's what comes in my headline. Whereby gay man saves the son, or the, <coughs> the known side, or the system. Which then is overshadowed though, the fact that I know her personally, I, she's being my aunt. So that's basically my whole day, is looking at 
comedy. I will leave you with this following phrase. I'm just going to look up that phrase. Thank you. Up. Okay, and even though I didn't touch any other buttons, but anyway, just going to look up and I'll leave you with just see what you think. It's, I was looking at Dr. Frazier, or I was looking at Frazier, which is a, an old American sitcom, right? Two lovely phrases that comes out of that man's mouth. He's a psychiatrist on the TV show, on the TV series, whatever you want to call it. So, one particular episode I had two of these following choice, um, thing, what do you call sayings or phrases, right? One of them being is, and I leave you with this, right? Love is an awesome force. Okay, that's one of them. And the other one is, we don't actually choose love, it chooses us. Dr. Fraser Crane in the series Fraser, which he pl is played by Kelsey Grammer. On that note, I'm going to leave you and love you, and I'll speak to you in my next video. But the next episode being, <coughs> you can call it episode these days anyway, for October the 9th, which should be tomorrow, okay? Ciao, Bell. And he says bye bye to you now. Bye bye to your fathers. Ho ho ho.